So the yard I have is really nice. Uh, it's pretty much what I've made when I have the excavator for the few weekends whenever I was doing something with the house. But now that we have an excavator all the time, I've got a lot of yard products to yard projects to do. And I want to take and make all this yard, you know, down the hill a little bit. And then all this over here, all the way to the property line, which is like, I don't know, 50 feet past the driveway there. All that I want to be yard. Uh, on this point, I want to do something with that. I'm going to leave the trees, but I want to grade it so I can mow it. And then the rocks, I want to continue the rock wall all the way around. And then I think the current plan is this area here is going to be the garden. Maybe next year. But, you know, this is going to be awesome here with the big oak trees. And then over here, once I get it. So in the wintertime, I cut down a whole bunch of these trees in here already. I just got to pick them up and take out the stumps and stuff. So, but I'm really hoping that come fall, I'm going to be planting a lot of grass seed and it's going to look way different and more what I imagined. Because it'd be cool. I want to like go to like, there's white pines almost surrounding my whole thing. So it would be cool if you're standing in my yard and you only see pine trees all the way around for 360 degrees. That's the effect of someday, if it ever happens. That, I do not know. But we're gonna get started here on this nice day. Got the excavator over here after work, which is awesome. A random Tuesday and I get to use the excavator. Heck to the yeah. And Walnut says the same thing. Heck to the yeah. Walnut, Walnut, what do you think? What do you think? I think that I like to be outside when it's nice out.
It's too wet to run the dump truck tonight, so I just piled up a pile. But it's actually faster that way, because now we can just scoop the pile into the dump truck and haul it away. I think it's going to be faster that way. But I made one swath through here. Looks way better already. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff in there, but there's a lot of dirt work to do still. First, you just got to get rid of the big stuff, and then you can keep worrying about the smaller stuff and smaller stuff. But it already looks so awesome over here nice and open and it's gonna be sweet it's gonna be awesome up here one that's on top of a big stump I'm gonna pull it out with 304 you know it's pretty big it's like uh, let's see let's see how many feet it is one two two and a half feet across it's been cut down for a long time so it's kind of cheating because it's been rotten I'm gonna guess it's just a big pine tree and it's also been dug out on the side already but Let's see how it comes out of here. I bet it comes out pretty easily, but it's pretty big. We'll see. Well, that popped right out of the ground. Kind of expected that. Well, it's pretty big though, but it's been in the ground for probably over 10 years cut off like that, so. But underneath it was this awesome rock. I love rocks. This rock's also really square, which is cool because it makes like good corner like this and then that for like the corner of a rock wall or something. It also looks to be the perfect height for a seat. So you throw that somewhere and you got a bench that's gonna last forever. I got a big pile of rocks over here. There's a lot of rocks here, and I kind of have a thing for rocks, so it's sweet that I got this out of the ground. And I got a machine to move it around with, and I could put it anywhere I want. So I'm gonna get it somewhere not in the driveway here, and then someday I'll put it somewhere else. I got nervous with it over the side like that, but I think it would pick it up. I just was nervous, you know. We only got 11 hours on it. We don't want to scratch it yet, but that was sweet. This rock is awesome. Stump came right out. It's gonna look so good around here soon. Well, how fun it is to work on your yard just on a random Tuesday with an excavator that's in the barn. So, I got this big stump and found that big rock and I took some I took that big pine tree and some sticks and drug them out of there into this pile and this pile was the dead pine tree and a whole bunch of other stuff I'd already cut and I grubbed out all the leaves in there too but on a nice day I'll load that stuff up and take it down to the brush pile but it looks way nicer already and it was just one evening Maybe an hour and a half of running the machine. Super fun.
loaded out a few trips of debris tonight. That was good. You know, you really just got to rake up all those leaves and stuff. It looks like it's a lot of dirt, and it's kind of dirt, but it's mostly just leaves. So you got to get rid of that stuff, so that way you can actually grade the dirt that's here eventually. But that was a good amount of stuff gone, and then there's still a lot back in there that I've cut down that i got to get out of there. But this section right here along the driveway looks good. Now I'll be able to actually kind of cut that in there a little bit, so that way it's not so high gonna look awesome over here. It already looks way better than it did being a little more open. Okay. What? We're good. Continuing on the yard project, I'm going to take out the two stumps in the yard. I was going to cut down this big tree today, but I decided I'm going to wait for some more help to be around. It's really big. Probably the tallest tree I've ever cut down. Probably 80 feet. It's a big guy, and it's a really tight window. So I'll have to put it right here between all my really nice oak trees. So, yeah and not hit the other tree. Yeah, it's gonna be, a... I'll probably rope it, make sure it goes where I want it to go. I'm gonna pop these stumps out, that'll be way better, and I can mow around. I'm gonna get rid of this stupid little thing here too. That thing is just big enough to catch the mower. It's stupid, but it won't be there anymore. Two stumps gone out of the yard. It'll be way easier to mow. I got some topsoil over there. I should scoop a couple scoops and put it on here, but for another time. And I got rid of the dumb little stump there. So I'm gonna cut down that tree, but I'm gonna come over here. So all this brushy stuff, I wanna get back to like where those white pines are, the big ones. So there's a big pile of rocks right there. I'm gonna get in here some and, I don't know, see what it looks like a little bit. Get some of the brush down, make a little pile going on. Start to make some decisions on what's gonna go and what's gonna stay.
really great half an hour work. Got a uh, pile going there. Found this gigantic rock. It's as big as the one I found over there a few months ago. Got some, I'm gonna definitely save at least a couple of these white pines, but you don't know which ones will survive. This biggest, the biggest one, I'm pretty sure I got the root pretty good over there. So I don't think that will make it, but hopefully the other ones keep growing. I'm gonna cut down some trees in here, leave the maple tree, cut down the tupelo trees, but I'm not gonna take those stumps out because I wanna keep that white pine nice. So just bother, just gotta cut those off. I gotta get in there and I can dig out some more in there, but I wanna save as many of the little white pines as I can because that's like, so my house is here and the most direct route to see my house is right through here. So I wanna clean it up, but I wanna keep the trees, I wanna keep growing, growing, so. But we'll see. These might not all end up staying. If I can find enough that are over there. Because I would like to have this be yard. And maybe even a garden area for Megan. So. See it how it all goes. But. Got this nice maple tree we're going to keep. Got to get the rocks off of it here. This is a big rock pile. So that rock wall is going to continue all the way down through here. With all the rocks I got. So. Should be pretty cool. Finally got started on it. Well, I had a successful day. Got some stuff done. Big pile of junk. Gotta move that somewhere else someday. But for now, looks pretty good. The excavator's back in my yard for the first time in a few months. It's fall now. Late October, got a beautiful 70 degree day. We're gonna take out some stumps tonight. Get some things done. I got a whole bunch of stuff I want to do here. Still gotta cut down a bunch of trees and take out a bunch of stumps. So finally get back to it. These two white pine trees were next to one of those stumps there and they came right out of the ground. So I dug a couple holes over there. I'm gonna plant them real quick. They might live, they might die, gain nothing or lose nothing either way. So worth the 10 minutes to go put them over there. This is where the driveway used to go through here and I've wanted to plant some trees in here. 
Got these two in here. Hopefully they live. Be sweet, they're really nice. They're two really nice trees. Uh, I only moved them 100 feet. A little shadier in here, but the dirt should be the same. So there's a chance. Hopefully they live.
really great day out here. I got uh, the dead trees cut down and picked up and I got all the beech trees in here because trying to make it so all the way around it's mostly um, pine trees. I think it's pretty cool and there's enough all the way around. So uh, and it looks good here. So this is obviously really open here. Um, if there's ever a garage here, that's where it's going to go for sure. But uh, it'd be nice to have another nice spot of grass over here. So get that going for next year. And uh, I'm just happy to get rid of those stumps and stuff that were along there because they were driving me nuts for the last however long, five years. And over there, I got that mowed and cleaned up the other day too and got the trees that I cut down a couple months ago picked up. So that was also great. And then way over there where the excavator still is, uh, I got that pile of stuff that I had piled up in the beginning of the year all picked up and hauled down to the field. But that's where I'm gonna continue. Still got a couple good days, I think, over there. There's still a lot of trees I wanna take down going down the hill that way. And then up here by the white pine tree um, in that direction there, there's like four or five trees, like maybe like eight inch diameters at the base that I just wanna get rid of. I gotta cut those down. But uh, my yard's getting bigger and looking better all the time. So I got this pile of rocks moved. That was a real pain in the butt, it's all the little rocks. But I got that moved over, so this will all be grass through here. And this rock wall is gonna come down through here and then around over to that other white pine tree kind of thing. And uh, right here, there'll be an opening. I think uh, there'll probably be a path down to the trail. So there's a trail right down there that comes over through and down through there. We'll keep that there for my uncle and my father, but Megan and I could walk right up through here and maybe a little arch kind of thing, you know, that'd be kind of cool. But uh, rock wall is gonna come all the way around here with all these rocks I got around. But just trying to get down, like if I took down all of the beech trees in here, I think that I would be able to see the house from the road pretty easily. Easily, not really easily, but you could see it, I think. The white pines and the pine trees are what I want to be growing here. So maybe I let the pine trees keep growing, leave a few of the beech trees, pine trees take over I could take out those beech trees or just leave a couple beech trees which is what I'm gonna do and they could be fine in there but I only want to go down so that way you know pretty much as far as I win is about as far as I want to go really anyways gotta take out that dead tree I didn't realize it was dead but that's dead and cut down the big tree next to the white pine and there's two little white pines next to the big white pine that I think I'm gonna bother trying to transplant somewhere else over here maybe right there where walnut's standing it's a pretty good spot Nice big tree to grow there would be cool. But uh, it's really going good. Another load of junk. 
but the yard's getting bigger. Gonna have a lot more grass to mow next year, but that's okay. It will be good to be able to come all the way down here because this is the best spot to mow. It's also where it grows the best because there's no shade. Over in there, there's grass, but it's pretty eh. Well, that was a really successful four days of beautiful, beautiful weather in late October. I just finished grading out a little bit so that way there weren't any big dirt clumps because I don't know if I'm gonna get back to it at all this winter. We're still working hard on the cabin, so not a lot of time, but if I have time, I will. I'd love to get these rock piles moved, get the wall going. It's gonna go along through here, but uh, I don't know if I'll have time for that. The trees all getting cut down looks a lot better. That's for sure. So I'm happy to get that stuff hauled out of there because the road, we're going to lose the road in another month or two before the spring when the truck can get back and out of the field. Um, but, you know, you get a couple of good days, you can draw, haul some stuff. But otherwise, it's usually too wet down there. But really excited I got all that stuff up there done. So that side's really good. Like, because that had a lot of hemlock. So that was, there wasn't much to do, anyways. There's still quite a bit to do over there. Uh, but like I said, move the rocks over here if I get a chance. But for the most part, that's it for the summer of 2022 on my yard. So I'm going to wrap this video up now. Uh, if I get to this, I'll just make it another video. But thanks for tuning in all the way through. Uh, hopefully next year we get some grass growing. Got a big party coming up for uh, Megan and I's wedding party. It's going to be here in July. So got to get some grass growing right away in the spring. But it's been going good. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you next Friday.